All right, welcome back folks to the Heart and Home channel. We are back for week 12 of our DIY Barnuminium build and this week we are going to be do testing out our prototype which I am super excited about because testing out inventions to solve hard problems is one of my favorite things to do. So today we are going to be finishing up the truss bay lifting system, mounting it to probably this pole right here and then just testing out a little tiny lift just to see if things work out okay. Let's get going. All right, so today we are working on the prototype phase for the lifting trusses. Uh, I've got the rough out here of what I'm doing here. And the reason why we're building a truss rather than just mounting the uh, thing to the top of the post is because I want to move it out about three inches that way we can get the chain hoist directly above the truss pairs and we'll just keep going mount these things up onto the posts we are going to be doing that primarily with these G heavy duty gr oops heavy duty grk screws each one of these can handle about 800 pounds of shear strength these guys are only going to be handling about 200 to 300 pounds each so this is way overkill even just one of these would be enough uh, physically but i more so don't trust the uh, pull out of these posts here um, so we're going to have about six on each one, uh, three down the line here, and then uh, and then three from the other side. So that should be enough to hold us very firmly in place and have a successful a successful lift. Okay, first lesson learned. It really sucks doing this uh, at a really big height. Um, on a normal ladder. That's just not much fun to do. And that's way more excess than I need. So I'm gonna trim that down a little ways. I think it should be a bit easier to do from there. Okay, we're all set up here. It's a moment of truth. Hopefully this works out. I sincerely, sincerely hope it works out. I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. All right, great success. I am super excited about that. This is a fantastic way to get this done. It is so easy and you could do it from the ground so there's way more people that can help you out it's a lot easier to do most of the work by yourself here and then just have someone over um have a have a few people over to help you out real quick it is so easy i mean it's possible that i could even do this by myself honestly if it is true i need to find out if the chains have a uh automatic stop on them but uh yeah this is this is easy Okay, now that we've had critical success, all we have to do is do it six more times. Okay, now that we're all put together here, I'm just gonna be re-putting this one back up here. Then I'm gonna lop off the top foot or so of the four posts on this bay here and that's going to be our first bay to go up i think i think that'll be the one i try tomorrow if if i can get all this stuff done but once i get that up i'm going to take those tops off put them all up and um then it'll be ready and then i just got to go around and do the rest of these and we'll see how far we get Another 
big success. Reducing down the geometry seems like it's just fine. Even just having some of it be two by fours, which is great. I think if I was gonna do it again, I'd probably make it a little bit more simple. Just simplify down the geometry. I think this design is stronger but because of the complex geometry and the crooked boards and everything, it just kind of caused it to have some little gaps here and there. So reducing down the geometry might end up being better in the long run. Yeah, it's working good as you saw, and now it's just time to do the other posts. Had some unexpected work pop up. This post over here, it has twisted on us since we put it up. It's twisted probably over an inch and it also has this huge crack in it that has been has largely been there since the beginning but since it started twisting it's become even more noticeable additionally on the top it's got a big crack up there too and that just makes me concerned about using it to bear any kind of weight when we are getting ready to lift this end bay here so that thing's gonna come out and we're gonna replace it. And that's probably gonna soak up most of my time today. I really, I still wanna get to trying to lift the, one of the, at least one of these bays by myself. Uh, mostly just to say I did, but we'll see if I'm able to get to that. This is gonna put us behind schedule a little bit for that bonus stretch goal. It's gonna be a little bit of a pain, not quite as uh, open as it was before but uh, I think we'll still be able to do it. So let's get going. Okay, new game plan. Since we are blocked from fixing this immediately, um, what I'm gonna do is finish cutting all the posts, finish putting my little dudes up on the posts, and then I'll lift this bay. And then once that bay is lifted, I will transfer, I'll secure that down really well, and then transfer the little dudes over to this one lift it up and not put it on this one but put it on the next one in then lift it up swap it out finish that up and maybe finish lifting it after that goodness all done with circular saw up on the ladder that's probably my least favorite thing to do but the visor definitely helps a lot and taking small passes every time helps a lot too uh, happy to be done with that though all we're pretty much getting really close to ready to lift and I think all I need to do now is just make some little measurements on every outside post here so that when we do lift too far out of sync with one another so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be back tomorrow for lifting our first truss bay that's gonna be pretty darn exciting okay today's lift day man I am super excited and also quite a bit nervous uh, there's quite a bit of risk today but everything's been going really smooth so far so I think that everything's gonna go pretty well. First, before I get going, I need to just put all of my materials down. So placing chains, chain hoists, uh, putting some tape on the inside of the, the truss cutout so that because uh, the steel plates aren't rated to be uh, next to treated wood material. So I'm gonna make sure that all that's protected. Um, also gonna be putting a little bit of duct tape on the inside of my chain hoist rail in there just so that I can see if it's moving or not. Mostly just a precaution, it's not actually gonna really do a whole lot other than visual. Um, but yeah, it's gonna get started and uh, dad should be here a little later today to help out. So we'll see if we can get started before then or not. All right, so we're all set up and ready to go. Just gonna do a quick one or three minute test, just lift them up about an inch or two and let it sit there for a few minutes. Make sure everything that is gonna be safe and, and sound. So it's uh, always good to test your inventions before you commit to anything too dangerous.
All right, mission great success. Definitely worked out really well. It was super duper easy. I think maybe about 20, 25 pounds of resistance on the chain hoist. And now we just have to go through and we put, uh, we're gonna be putting a chain on each one of the posts and pulling it into the place where we need to and then we can fasten them there. So the first hole went pretty smoothly. I think we only had to drill through one plate that I can see. Um, so thankfully we got through that one pretty pretty quickly. Uh, the only thing now is that the, the Timberlock screws that we have require something bigger than a T30. We don't have, I don't have one of those. Kind of wish one was included, but uh, Dad ran to the local hardware store to see if they have something bigger uh, that will work for this. So hopefully they do. Okay, we are back at it again today. It, it is beautiful and overcast out. We don't get a whole lot. It's kind of nice to get a reprieve from the sun. Today we're gonna continue fixing some of the posts here and try and get them all the way set up. But the main goal of today is to get that post replaced before we have people over on Saturday to help us out. So hopefully that works out. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, but I'm not afraid of a little bit of a challenge. It's kind of fun. So we're just gonna continue to work on that. Definitely recommend taking a look at possibly getting some giant C clamps for mounting your trusses to the post here. It's super helpful just to get it, crank it onto the post and just get that last little tight fitting that you're looking for. I think each one, you can pretty easily get about 8,000 pounds of clamping pressure on there and it is just really great for marrying those two things up together as you're screwing them in. trusses the same way that we do. Save yourself a big headache and wrap whatever you're lifting it with around the part of your trusses that aren't going to be touching the post. Then you don't have to worry about getting it out from underneath. That's it for this week my friends. Thank you so much for joining us. It has been a super progress filled week this week and I'm so happy with the progress that we've made and I am very much looking forward to tackling this issue among many others that I think we'll run into next week, but stay tuned. If you found this video useful, please hit that thumbs up button as it helps us a great deal. And if you're interested in home building, DIY, light homesteading, or the debt-free lifestyle, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and the little bell so you get notifications when we post videos in the future. I'll catch you guys next time.